Okay, so we're starting on project one for our class. The first thing we need to do as we get started here is we need to set up a web hosting account. We need somewhere that we can upload the web pages that we create so that you get practice in uploading and so that we can see that the pages are working correctly. And frankly, that's where I'm going to go check your work as well. So I've selected a free web hosting service here. They sell, they sell accounts as well, but they have good free hosting. If you go to our class website, you'll find a link pointing you to this page, or you can go directly into a browser and type it in. So you want to go to www.000webhost.com slash order.php. Once that page is loaded, we have a form that we need to fill out so they can create our account. The first option we have is I want to host my own domain. So if you had a domain already um, registered and we want, you want to use it for this hosting account, then you could put that in right here. Most of you probably do not have one or at least have a spare one that you want to use for that. So the other option is we can use a free subdomain. So let's go th with that route right now. So this is what the web address will look like once we set that up. We get to pick this portion right here, the subdomain portion, and then the whole thing right here will be our web address. So I'm going to use MSP5. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to use HazeMI. That's my username at Butte. So let's go with that. We'll use HazeMI. And so I would be www.hazemi.webege.com. That would be the email, or the web address that I have for my space to work in. Now they want my name. The browser's trying to fill it in for me there. And they want my email address. So I'm going to use a Butte email address. So it's actually a variation on my regular email address that happens to work because I think my other one's already in use. Now they need a password from me. So in this case, come up with something that is memorable that you'll remember, but not too obvious, so someone might guess it. it needs to be at least six characters long, it can be letters and numbers. Okay, once you get your password entered in twice, and they do it twice so that they match, just to make sure you typed it correctly. Now we come down here to the bottom. We have a CAPTCHA that we need to fill out. So the purpose of CAPTCHA, I'm sure you've seen on web forms before, CAPTCHA is there to weed out robots automatically signing web forms. And so you have to figure out what this says right here and enter it in. This one is a little odd. Uh, there's one character there I'm not positive about. So there's usually a little refresh button right here. I'm going to click on that. It gave me a new one. This one looks a little easier to read. So now I'm going to type the text in here. Hopefully I got all of those letters right. Okay, that looks good. And now I have to agree to their terms of service and then click on the Create My Account button. I don't want to remember that. Okay, so at this point it went ahead and it brought me to a web page and it's telling me that they're going to send an email out to confirm that I really am signing up for this. So they give me my domain that I'm working on here. I'm waiting for an email confirmation. You can resend that email if you don't get the email. And that is about all the information that we get here right now. So at this point, I actually need to go check my email address and make sure that I've gotten that email. I have my email account open over here in another tab. So I'm going to flip over here. And here we go. Conf confirm your registration email. Okay, so welcome to the best free hosting provided. So to confirm your registration, I have to click this link down here or if it's not clickable you can paste it into a browser. So I'm going to click on that, brings up another tab, get another window. So at this point, let's see, registration is almost complete, check my email again, and I'll find a registration confirmation link. So again, it's just telling me what my web address is, they're building the site right now, I can refresh that one. Ah, okay, so at this point it's active.
So I'm going to click on the Go to cPanel link. And that brings me right here. So cPanel is the control panel for your hosting account. Uh, it's actually a very common, uh, commonly used by hosting companies. It's pretty powerful. It's easy to use as well. So that's, that's really nice. <clears throat> So we can look at the different options that we have here in our hosting. Uh, you can always upgrade your account later and start paying for it if you want. You can change your password. Do, 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 do. They got this nice little thing here about getting your domain for free. Um, that is if you upgrade to a start paying for the account. So don't click that. Think you're really getting something for free. We do have manage email accounts here. Uh, you do get a couple free email accounts at this domain if you want. So you can go set up an email account there if you want. And then the main one that we want down here is the View FTP Details. So I'm going to click on that one. And we have some information here that we need. So when we go set up Dreamweaver to log into our web hosting space, we need this information here. So you want to make note of it. Write this down somewhere. So again, this is my account name here. We have the FTP host name. So the host name is the same as the web address right there. We have the FTP username. So we're going to need that one. So I'm going to make notes of these real quick on my notepad. So let's see my username. So note that one. And then let's see my web address. I know. Okay, the FTP password, they've got blocked out here, but it's the same as the password that you just used to create your account. And then we have to make note of this one. See this folder to upload files in. Make note of this. So public underscore HTML. You want to make note of that because you'll need that one as well when we go set up Dreamweaver. Other than that, they give you a link to change your password, which is your entire account password, is also your FTP. They've got a couple FTP clients or programs here that they're recommending, but Dreamweaver is going to be able to take care of that for us. So that is everything we need to do right now to set up your account. Uh, you can actually come up here and, and log out once you're done. And the next step in this process is you're going to send your new web address to me so that I can update our class website with it. Okay, thank you.